As the sun shines on all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to Lox Lux Lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. So today I am here with my model and we are doing another men's lock style. So let's get right into it. So per usual, I have already shampooed his hair off camera and we already moisturized it, but I am going in with some more oil before we get to retwisting. So I've been using a new product for my retwist. I have been using the Style Factor Lock Booster Lock Titian. So far, I really like this product. I used it on his head, I used it on my head. And yeah, so far I really like it. If you want a full review, I will have that video linked down below from when I tried it on my hair. And I go into details about all my thoughts and the product in general. But I'm gonna begin by taking a little bit of that product and smoothing it along the roots of that back row. And then I'm just going to go in and clean up the parts. I used to kind of apply product individually to each lock, but here lately I've been just kind of applying the product all at one time and then just beginning my retwist. And I feel like it goes a little faster. Um, so now I'm just combing the hair down and then I'm going to use that coiling comb to coil the base and then I do like a mixture of locksmithing and palm rolling he didn't have too much new growth so it wasn't too bad and then I just go ahead and clip it and I have several videos of me styling his hair so yeah it's pretty much the same process so I'm starting by just retwisting all of his hair and then I will come back and show you guys how I style it
and here is how his hair looks after everything has been retwisted with the clips applied so now I'm gonna go in with my Nairobi style foam and foam him down and I'm also going to tie him down with a couple of wrap strips and sit him under the dryer and I forgot to show you guys on camera, but when I put him under the dryer, I also put his hair up into like a pineapple just because his hair is starting to get really long. Um, and that helps kind of cut down on some of the drying time because if I just kind of leave it hanging, the ends of his hair and in the nape area, it takes a really long time to dry. And then here is how his hair looks once everything is dry and we take him from under the dryer. Looks really good and really neat. So next I'm just going to remove all of those clips and then we're going to move on to styling. So he requested three cornrows, so that's what he's gonna get today. So I'm just gonna begin by sectioning his locks into three sections. And I tried to get the sections as even and symmetrical as possible. So that's what you see me doing here. And so I like to start with the outer cornrows first. So you see me, I'm gonna grab three locks at the top of his head. And then I'm just going to begin to cornrow like I would do like loose hair. So I try to keep the braid centered in that section. And every time I do a turn, I just grab a lock from the outer side. So every time I go around, you see me grabbing one from the right, then I come back around, I grab one from the left, and I just continue to do that, again, as if I was braiding loose hair. It's also important that when you are grabbing a lock from each side, you don't unravel your retwist. So if you guys can tell, every time I grab a lock, I kind of, I don't want to say I over twist it, but I make sure the lock is turning and it's being added in the same way that it was retwisted. If you kind of just braid and you are unraveling your retwist, you won't get like a really neat braid in my opinion. So yes, that's also key to keeping the cornrows neat. And as I begin to braid down, the locks start to taper off. So I do my best to kind of tuck them and you know hide them with a longer lock if your hair is shorter this part may be a little harder i feel like his braids got easier once his hair got longer i don't have to do as much tucking anymore but if your hair is shorter you might see some of the ends of the locks sticking out so you want to do your best to tuck them and then i braid until i can't braid anymore and then i just secure it with a rubber band and this is how the ends look. You can leave it like this, but if you want a more rounded look at the end, I'll show you guys how I do that in a second. So I went ahead and did the braid on the other side off camera, and now I'm just going to repeat the same process with the middle braid. Again, starting with three locks at the top and then braiding down as if I were braiding loose hair and just grabbing locks from each side to add to the braid. And so here is how his hair looks after everything has been braided down. Now for the ends, you see how it's just kind of, I don't know, I don't like that look, he doesn't like that look. So we usually just connect his braids. So I'm gonna connect all three 
with another rubber band I'm just kind of getting them into place right here and sometimes we have to use multiple rubber bands to kind of keep them all together so yeah I'm just getting everything in place And then lastly, I'm just going to gather all those loose ends together as tightly as possible. And then I'm going to fold them under and secure it one more time with a rubber band just to create kind of like, not a bun, but just kind of that rounded tip. So as the ends aren't just kind of exposed and frayed looking. And this is how his hair looks once we're all done. And then lastly, I foam him down one more time just to kind of set the style. And I put him under the dryer for another five to 10 minutes. And that is pretty much the style. And after I do his hair, he usually goes to the barbershop to get the rest of his head cut and lined up and all that stuff. But I'll always forget to get a clip of him once he gets his hair freshly cut. So this is actually how his hair looks about two weeks later. And as you guys can see, it still looks really neat. His braids still look really good. He's starting to get a little frizz at this point, but it still looks really fresh. So, so far, I am really enjoying this Style Factor Lock Booster product. Um, but yes, that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Snatched by Charmel, And I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Bye.